Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a short little video. So me and my wife, uh, we put together a few projects in the past, but uh, I'm clearly the tinkerer one, the one that likes doing all this soldering and stuff. But we like working together on it every now and then to make something a little fun. So um, Adrian's Digital Basement uh, made a video recently talking about this new project. I think it was one of his, uh, his like unboxing kind of videos. And it was to do with this company called Itica Innovation which makes uh, the U-chip, which is this tiny little, you know, I think it's a dip uh, sized microcontroller that you can, you know, slot right into a breadboard, do whatever you want with it, uh, based on uh, the ARM Cortex-M0 Atmel SAMD chip. I forget the exact one. Well, anyway, so they, uh, they took this microcontroller and they decided to take it up a notch and make uh, this little game console called the USVC. And it's all running off of this one chip this ARM Cortex M0, which obviously is capable of a lot. It's a, it's a single core chip, I believe, uh, running at, I don't know, 100 megahertz, something like that. So it's not super incredibly powerful, but it's definitely able to render out some video. Uh, anyway, so he made this video and he showed off, you know, some of the demos they had. Um, and it was cool because, you know, he was saying like it looked very Amiga-esque, you know, 16-bit graphics with pretty fun animations. And I thought it looked pretty cool too. And especially because I like I like making little games and stuff for kind of underappreciated consoles, and uh, I thought this would be a great opportunity to make some clones. You know, Pac-Man, uh, Pong, whatever, Tetris. Well, actually, it does come with a Tetris preloaded, so maybe not Tetris. And so I decided this might be fun for uh, me and my wife to just put something together. You know, it's a very simple project. Uh, so I signed up. It was on Crowd Supply, I believe, which is kind of like a Kickstarter thing. Uh, surprisingly cheap i think it cost oh god uh 25 dollars i think maybe which i mean heck that's the cost of a microcontroller you know a raspberry pi or something if not cheaper um of course postage added on top i don't think it was that bad so i went ahead and went in on it i got a plan now of us making it um i will say uh the noise is terrible because my little workbench is in uh, the back of my house, which is where my washer and dryer is and all that kind of stuff. And it was laundry day. Uh, not much you can do there. The audio is terrible. And actually you'll see, we just switched to another day because we had to go somewhere. So we had to start halfway through and got back on it the next day. Um, actually, I think this was Easter. So we we're kind of dressed up a bit. So uh, not that we were going to church or anything like that, but you know, it's you know, a holiday, might as well dress up. Uh, anyway, so putting it together was uh, fairly easy. It's the standard affair. You put in the smaller stuff, the resistors first, uh, then you put in slightly bigger stuff, and you know, just keep going until you finally get to like some of the large connectors. So it's pretty easy to do. Now, I know, you know, I probably could have let my wife do the whole thing by herself. You know, Sam, by the way, is her name. But instead, I figured we kind of work together. Uh, so she did all the actual soldering iron work. Whereas I came in with, you know, the solder as needed, whatever. Um, also, please disregard the ugly flux I have. It's super old stuff. It's probably from either the 80s or the 90s. I don't know. Uh, but I've just had it forever. And yeah, sorry. Anyway, that aside, uh, we just went at it one part at a time. And uh, it took us a while. I think in total, probably an hour. Uh, maybe if I was working on alone, I could maybe get it done in, you know, 25, 30 minutes, maybe. But, you know, we were talking about the process. I was, you know, describing how some of this stuff was working to her and everything. And trying to make it real clean. I, I gotta say, I used to be terrible at soldering. Oh my gosh, the stuff I used to do was disgusting. But now, I, I find it uh, much more satisfying when you get a clean solder job. Plus, you know, it's gonna last longer if you do it right the first time. You're not gonna have to fix stuff, um down the road anyway but it's it's a fairly simple circuit really there's some kind of video buffer chip i'm not exactly sure it's some 74 ls i think or something that goes straight into uh the vga port uh there's a bunch of really specific you know one percent tolerance resistors which are used for certain voltage levels i'm sure for vga and everything oh hey i think we're nearly done here actually we're cleaning up the board got the isopropyl alcohol and a little brush uh, but yeah other than that there's like one trans actually no i think it's a voltage regulator you know, your power in it's the only thing I don't like about this project or you know this dev board well there's two things I guess is that there's a separate power and then like a different like USB host which I, I totally get it it's a USB on the go I totally understand why they did that and it works with keyboards and like basic uh, game USB game controllers but I found uh, the support was really off like the only on the go device I have is like a USB uh, hub 
on the go thing, which I used with my Raspberry Zeros and stuff. And that wouldn't work. It has no support for hubs, which I'm sure could be added in, but that was kind of annoying. I really, I, I feel like they should just have like a, a DB9 connector for more traditional game pads like Genesis or something like that, which there is an expansion port on there. So you probably could do that. And that might be something I'll pursue in the future. I don't know if, I, if I'm really into it. So right now, all we can really use on it is just like this basic keyboard. I don't know, they, they just needed something like, heck, you know, maybe if we could get like a, a Bluetooth USB kind of thing and get that working so you can use, you know, Bluetooth controllers. Oh, that'd be awesome, but I'm not sure how likely that'll happen. Uh, the other thing I am not a big fan of, in order to develop on it, you have to use the Atmel Studio, which I think is only works on Windows, which, you know, I'm a Linux guy and I like open source stuff and everything. And that's a little disappointing because I have most of the compilation resources to compile for SAMD microcontrollers on my computer already. And so I've been trying to set up a make file and try to do it, you know, in Atom or something like that. Um, to make it so you don't have to rely on Atmel Studio. I will post up probably a template project or something on GitHub once I've figured that out, but I'm not quite there yet. So I haven't actually compiled any programs for this yet, but I'm working on it. You having fun? Cool. Playing the fair play race car game. Oh Sam's knocking into the wall like crazy. <laughs> oh well. We're trying, we're trying. So in order to get this thing actually working, we did have to create our own on the go because you know the local Walgreens uh, and all that didn't have any in stock. So that was kind of a pain in the butt, especially because I had to rip up an old cable and get that all soldered up properly and get the sense wire connected properly. But once it was done, it was done and it works fine. The other really cool thing is that there's a 3D printed case supplied, you know, like they have all the files. I think you could have ordered it, but of course we have our 3D printer and we wanted to make it sparkly pink. So that's what we did. And it looks fantastic, you know, especially cause you know, Sam, she loves pink and stuff like that. So why not? So yeah, that's it. It's a pretty simple, fun project. Um, the games are, yeah, they're straightforward. There's like a little like um, worms clone. That's like called red balls, which is pretty fun. Uh, I mean, they all work pretty well, and it's all made by like one guy. It's next tact, or I'm gonna I'm gonna include links in the description if you're interested uh, in this project and getting one yourself. Um, but yeah, until next time, until the next project, which there will be more. I've got more in the pipeline. Um, have a great day and sip some coffee um, and enjoy yourself. <laughs>